developments in a major local Ford Defenders investigation. Macomb County leaders speaking out today, shedding new light on the death of an inmate who died in the county jail. Defender Kevin Dietz has been on top of the story all along for us. He joins us now live from Mount Clemens with the very latest. Kevin? Yes, 32-year-old David Stojewski died in the Macomb County Jail. The FBI is investigating this death, but officials here in Macomb County are not backing off. They came out today and had a press conference a week after this story broke on WDIV. Tony Wickersham, the sheriff, and Mark Hackle say they are confident that the employees here in Macomb County that work in the jail did not do anything wrong. They say that these deputies have one primary job, and that is to watch these prisoners in these high observation cells and to alert the medical staff when they see something that looks wrong. They contend that their deputies did that, that they alerted the med medical staff, which is a private contractor called CCS, and that those medical professionals did not see the need to take David Stojewski to the hospital at any given time. In fact, Mark Hackle says the deputies who came in at the very last seconds of his time there at the Macomb County Jail may even deserve some sort of medal. This is what he had to say about his own employees. You got a correctional officer that's got monitors and he's watching other things going on, but he focused on that particular person. He's looking at him thinking, something just doesn't look right here. You know, and he's watching him and he sees that the chest stops, stops moving. I mean, that, that is incredible. You talk about, you know, hard to watch a man die. Think about the corrections officer that saw that happen and jumped out of his chair and went in there and called medical staff while he's in the process of doing it to get on his chest and start providing CPR. Now, there are 240 hours of video of David Stojewski in that high observation cell. Local four defenders have watched all 240 hours of that video. The uh, county executive, Mark Hackle, and the sheriff, Tony Wickersham, say the portion of the video that we aired does not represent what really happened in that case. Both men did admit that neither of them have watched that video, but they say that according to what the jail staff uh, says in the internal investigation, that they believe their employees did absolutely nothing wrong and they look forward to this playing out in court. They also took a shot at the attorney for the Stojewski family saying that the attorney came to them early on and demanded 25 to 30 million dollars in a settlement or that this would go public. Uh, they did not uh, talk uh, much about the incident saying that because of the litigation they cannot really talk much about the specifics of David Stojewski's death in jail, they want that to come out in court. Uh, that's the latest right now, and of course, we're going to have much, much more on this on uh, Local 4 today at 5 and 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Macomb County, Kevin Dietz, Defenders. We'll be watching as it all plays out. All right, thank you, Kevin.